The next person is a young man. I think this is his third time performing at Spoken Word Rwanda. His name, and I hope I'm c pronouncing it correctly, is Taekwon. Not Taekwondo, but Taekwon. Uh, let's give him a big round of applause. It's always good when we have young people on our stage, and uh, every year there's a new batch of young talent. So, welcome back. Hello, um, so the piece I wrote and I'm going to perform is called uh, Purpose Not Defined by Loss. I insist that you listen to this, listen to my rhymes or society's crimes about a young boy who had all the joy at home, but when time came for school, he was mistreated like an eight-year-old's toy. But he done played it cool, hoping they'll accept him and not see him as a fool, except what he failed to see is that deep down they thought he was the one to be. Was it jealousy, envy, or even a strategy? Always returning home with less miles, as if he'd been walking for miles, and making lies about the ties he formed with imaginary friends. What he didn't decide was unimaginable pain. Always house-ridden while everyone went out. He didn't receive an invitation, but the amount of time he got from his lonely sessions enabled him to cultivate something imaginative while everyone else was buying contraceptives. And as the wind blows the leaves, so did his grievances leave. Cause he got to work on his finances, but in life's instances, there's always a moment when something catches your eye. Could be a fly, or simply a girl passing you by. And my oh my was smitten to the point of sending a written letter. But he figured it was better to speak in person, seeking a personal connection. If only he had the information that he wasn't the one who tried, then he'd have realized that she'd already been offered the world on a silver platter. What could he possibly say that was any better? He pondered on this for a moment and decided the best way was to speak the truth and tell her how in, her, in his eyes she was the other half of the universe and he done wrote so many verses about how he wanted to explore it but the, unfortunately the thought wasn't enough because the thought was enough. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. The thought wasn't enough because she threw it and laughed as he walked away in pe as he walked away in pieces and pieces, hearing pieces from every corner, reminding him why he'd always been a loner, devastated, decided to take a to make a pact of to take a pact of solitude, living only for himself as best as he possibly could. And with all that pain he gained, and then came all the fame. And as the, as the same people as the same people who put him down now noticed him like a king wearing a crown. Now noticed him. Like, sorry, sorry. sorry. Now noticed him like a king wearing a crown, and so did she. Unfortunately, he wasn't looking, cause he knew him rising was all it took for them to give him a second look. And this pact he made was not gonna be shook, until a part of his heart opened up, when he met somebody. When he met, ah, oh God. Sorry, sorry, when he met somebody. Until a, uh, until a part of uh, until a part of his heart opened up when he met another, and and she would fit, but and but it kind of makes you wonder with the story repeat. Yeah, that's it. <laughs>